Today marks the 46th annual Earth Day, which was started by former Wisconsin Governor Gaylord Nelson, who would have been 100 years old this year. News Free's Jess Garp spoke to his daughter about how world leaders marked the day with a major environmental accord. Gaylord Nelson's legacy lives on in the natural areas that are named after him, including this state park in Middleton. But his daughter tells me that the signing of a historic climate change agreement is an even greater honor. And he was out here for a, a dedication before he passed away. It meant a lot to him. Tia Nelson is marking Earth Day in the park that bears the name of her father. The issues involved here are of a nature that can only be resolved by political action. Reflecting on the day he began to focus on the environment. It was successful beyond my father's wildest dreams. He never imagined this would be in a, uh, a recurring event uh, or an enduring legacy. And now 46 years after it started, Earth Day is also marking a new international environmental effort. It's an enormous privilege to be here on Earth Day to join in signing this historic agreement. The Paris Agreement was signed at the UN by more than 170 countries, all agreeing to take efforts to slow global warming. Nelson was in Paris last year when the accord was first struck and at the first Earth Summit, where talks began on this in 1992. Paris is historic in that 21 years after meeting at the Earth Summit in 1992, um, nearly 200 countries um, have agreed uh, to uh, join ranks and address this uh, big challenge. Nelson says her father would have been encouraged by the signing, celebrating the past with an eye to the future. I celebrate the fact that there's a, a demonstration in these countries showing up today and signing um, uh, this agreement and making a commitment in their own countries in, in a manner they they prescribe to, to address this uh, issue and that they've chosen to do it on Earth Day, I think uh, it has some beautiful symbolism. Nelson says she'll mark this Earth Day by planting trees in this park tomorrow. At Governor Nelson State Park, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. And today's signing isn't the last step for the Paris Agreement. All of the signing countries will now have to ratify or pass it. The president thinks that may happen by the end of the year.